On Monday, California Highway Patrol activated an Amber Alert for 15-year-old Savannah Graziano, who they believed was kidnapped by her father after he shot and killed her mother. Now, just one day later, they announced via Twitter that the Amber Alert had been deactivated with no additional details. The question is, why? What's going on? When are the details going to come? Did they find her? Well, here's what happened. As Jezebel explains, NBC Los Angeles reports that on Tuesday afternoon, police responded to a report about a truck that matched the description of the 15-year-old girl's father, 45-year-old Anthony John Graziano. A car chase led by the California Highway Patrol in pursuit of Anthony, who had his daughter in the car, began at around 11.15 a.m. Police say John shot at deputies from the rear view window of his car. When the car chase reached Hesperia, officials say Anthony's truck became disabled, prompting him him and police to get out of their cars and engage in a shootout. Amid the chaos, officials say Savannah emerged from the vehicle in full tactical gear and ran toward officers who then shot and killed her. Anthony was also shot and died at the scene, while Savannah died shortly after being taken to the hospital. So just stop for a moment and try to understand how incomprehensibly incompetent these dumb officers were. They knew they had the suspect who reportedly kidnapped his daughter right there. And when they see her emerge from the vehicle running towards them, presumably to be saved, they shoot and they kill her. This is a 15-year-old child that they shot and killed. Words cannot explain <laughs> how incompetent these officers are. Now, we don't have any more details. We know that they shot and killed the person who they were trying to save. And um, we don't even know the officer who did it. And now the sheriff is trying to make it seem as if, well, perhaps they had reason. Perhaps she was shooting at them. Jezebel continues, at a news conference on Tuesday afternoon, San Bernardino County Sheriff Shannon Dickus didn't specify who fired the shots that killed Savannah, saying instead that the teen may have also been involved in some of the fire exchange, possibly firing back at the deputies. Despite this uncertainty, as a result of yet another case of police shooting first and asking questions later, a 15-year-old girl is now dead. This incident comes just over a week after Los Angeles police shot and killed another teen outside his home after mistaking the victim's airsoft gun for a rifle. An LAPD officer shot 19-year-old Luis Herrera eight times on September 17th. So another teen just got shot a week before in California, and rather than thinking, okay, maybe we shouldn't be so quick with our trigger fingers, they did it again. But in this instance, they know that the man they're pursuing, they presumably know that the man they're pursuing kidnapped this girl who they're trying to save. Now, even if it's true, and I don't believe them, even if it's true that she was firing shots at them, this would be because her father is forcing her to do that. But assuming that this is true, you know that this is a little child who is innocent, who was kidnapped by her father. Why would you open fire as she's running towards you. Did she have a gun in her hand? I mean, there, there's really no justification for what they did. It's just idiocy. That's why they did it. It's idiocy. They pulled the trigger on a fucking child. This is a common phenomenon that we see all the time where police officers open fire on unarmed people who are innocent, mostly black and brown people, but sometimes innocent people who aren't black and brown as well. They just, they are overly eager to use lethal force. I, I just don't know what to say about this. The system is completely broken to its core, and <laughs> there's really nothing to say. A child is dead because these idiot police officers, rather than trying to save her after issuing, uh, issuing the Amber Alert, shot her. And to make matters worse, to put out the Amber Alert and then deactivate it and just say, oh, Amber Alert deactivated, not explaining why it was deactivated. It just, it, it adds salt to the womb, just completely unacceptable and sheer insanity.